Hello and welcome to the second MMO tutorial and today we are going to be working on asset loading. So in the last one we set up the project and set some properties for it but today won't have as much of a visual oops, as much of a visual difference so it's just gonna help us later. So to start, we're going to create a package. So com dot tutorial dot asset handler. We're going to do that and create a new class called asset handler. And this is going to let us load and unload our assets and be able to manage them a bit more efficiently. So libgx already has a asset manager built in, but we're going to add a few things to it. So we're going to just extend it and have to save it. And there it is. Okay. So to start, we are going to create some variables for a loading screen. So we're going to create textures, so progress bar image, sorry, and um, progress bar base image, okay, I'm just going to put uh, my phone on silent. Uh, um, bar base image background image and that's all the textures we're going to need now we need to create a vector 2 call it that and we need a font so private bitmap font font and now we are going to create a method, so we import those. Now create a method that will load up a list of assets. So we're going to do that void load asset list. And it's going to hold a hash map. So string and a class. And I think, yep, that's it. So call that array. And now we're going to loop through it, and for each one, we will load whatever comes into the list. So entry, string, class. Select and go through array dot entry set. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining all of this because if you're doing an MMO, you should probably know Java already then. So, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. So, if not super dot is loaded. So this will check if we already loaded it and if we didn't load it, it will load it. That way we're not wasting memory. So super dot load asset dot get key and asset dot get value. Okay, so we have those done. So that'll load a whole list of assets for us. And we already, we are gonna create a method to clear the list so that we don't have the list full of stuff every time we load stuff. In case you wanna load new things later on in the game. And this is pretty much the same thing, but instead of 
loading where you're just gonna clear whatever list we give it and list dot clear Okay, one more. Okay, right. so that should work with that. And I think I'm not gonna worry about the loading up screen stuff. So we'll add a loading screen later when we have more assets to load. But for now, we will not do that, so we can actually just comment this stuff out right now. Whoops. Okay. We just need to load a set and clear less stuff. So now going into our main, we will actually not need to create the texture. Won't need that. And oops. We can get rid of this draw command and we don't need to dispose it. So up here, and I'm gonna change application adapter to game. That'll let us change it to a screen later when we actually add in multiple screen support. So now we are gonna create an instance of our asset handler. And we'll call this manager import that and in our create we're gonna do manager equals new asset handler there we go and we also need to create that list now so we're gonna create our hash map we call it string and class and you'll see why I'm putting class in there in a second. So we'll call this assets. And in here, assets equals new hash map. And since, in case you're doing Android, you can't use Java 8 stuff. So, or maybe it came with Java 7, but we're gonna actually fill the whole thing out right here. So do that. Are we missing this or here? Yeah. The import hash map. And that's all good now. So for this we're gonna do assets dot put and now we're gonna do I think it's in our assets folder. We have bad logic dot jpeg. So bad logic dot okay and the value of it is texture dot class so that's why we're doing class in there so we can tell it what instance to create it as and once you have that we will do manager dot load set list and put in assets and there you go so that will load up our image for us and after that we we'll do manager dot clear list put asset in there assets and that'll clear the list because eventually that list will get kind of big and now in here we could do batch dot draw manager dot get and now we will just put the name of the file so object dot jpeg and we are going to put this we can get rid of all that so we're going to put this at the middle of the screen this time so gdx dot graphics dot get width Divided by two GDX dot graphics dot 
get height divide by two and oops okay and what are we missing cast one argument to float and in huh what am I missing the integer to get oh that is what we're missing. Okay. So, what we need to do is tell it what type it is. That way, we won't have to cast it. And down here, manager.dispose. And that all cleared the assets from memory. So, we should be able to run this now. And when we run it, we get. And your asset not loaded, padlogic dot JPEG. Okay. What happened then? Oh. So hold on. Um we will call manager dot finish loading and that'll finish loading all our assets so let's try and run it now and it works not exactly at the middle of the screen but we now are loading our things more efficiently so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial